Okay, so here we have the extra light 39C as opposed to T and back wheel 580 before it rolls off and crashes to the floor and the front wheel um, should be 490. I tried it earlier. Yep, 490. So that is 1070, the pair, which is super impressive because the tubular were 970. So it's basically 100 grams more, which is excellent because generally, you know, tubular are 300, 200, 300 grams less than the clincher equivalent. So to get it down to 100 grams is really good. Right, so the experiment here is to see what difference there is between tubular wheels and tires and the latest clincher wheels and tires in a tubeless uh, liquid anti-puncture format. Both are 25 mil, both are essentially the same wheels, they're extra light 39, so the hubs are the same, they're disc wheels, and the depth of the rim is also the same 39 mil, but where it differs is that the front wheel you see here is the extra light 39C, the clincher version, it's a hookless clincher version, which we can get into in a minute, and these are 39T, which is just the standard shallow dish bedded rim for gluing on a tubular in the old school kind of way. So, as you may know, if you follow my channel, I've always been on, on tubular tires. I think there's a lot of advantages in tubular tires. The pros were all using tubular tires until very recently. Um, there's a security factor if you puncture going downhill, they, they, they remain on the rim, they remain rideable. So there's a lot, there's some pros and cons, but mainly for me, it was really that tubular wheels and tires were a lot lighter than the clincher version, like 300 grams easily. But now that they're making these hookless rims, they managed to reduce the weight because it's a lot simpler. The actual profile of the rim is much simpler. So they managed to reduce the weight and the actual weight difference between these pair of wheels is actually quite small. It's uh, these tub uh, wheels are 960 grams a pair and the clinchers are 10, 70 grams the pair. So it's about 100 grams between them, which is about as low as I've ever seen it. Now, if you use a very light tire, the this Continental GP 5000 STR is 263 grams, so not especially light, but you, you can get lighter. Then potentially, given the fact that there is no inner tube, um, there's no glue or anything like that, you have a little bit of liquid to take account of, but the tire itself is lighter than the tub because this is about 285, so you're saving 20 grams on the actual tire. So, you know, if you're, if you're careful with the tire choice, you can get pretty close to a tubular wheel weight setup, which is, which is good. And then you move on to the whole other subject of rolling resistance, which supposedly is better with this type of tubeless setup than it is for a tub. Tubs have been traditionally pretty good with rolling resistance, but you know, even me, maybe I need to accept that the technology has moved on and potentially, potentially this is a better um, setup for rolling resistance. I'm gonna save some watts. Um, it's linear, so the faster you go, the more you save. Uh, I've only had these on for a few days so far. They feel pretty good. They were easy to mount. I was a bit worried about how easy they would be to mount, but in fact it was actually pretty painless. Um, I didn't do anything special. I just used one lever to get the final part of the tire onto the wheel. I put about 50 grams of sealant into the bottom, um, and then using a normal track pump, it pumped up straight away, no issues, and popped at about two bar, pop, 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 uh, up to three or four bar, seemed fine, and I've taken them up to five bar because the issue, again, another thing which is kind of had me questioning it, is that they all say five bar max. Continental says five bar max for its tire. Extra light says, I think five and a half or six bar max for its wheel. So you have to kind of go with the lowest, which is Continental, so five bar, that's 
at least one bar less than I would normally use, which made me a little bit skeptical about the whole thing. But in fact, when you pump it up to five bar, it feels the same as a tub of six bar, which I think is basically because the tire is a lot stiffer. So you have a lot less flex and it just feels that much harder. So, so far it, it, it feels good. Um, and then you have the added puncture protection, which in theory you can't really puncture. Uh, tops are pretty good too, but now in theory I don't need to carry the foam can with me anymore. That saves 70 grams. So weight wise, it's kind of a wash. Maybe there's some what's to be gained in rolling resistance. Um, yeah, it all seems good. The, the only downside is the price point. Uh, they've managed to jack up the prices for all of this tubeless stuff to the point where it's more expensive than tubular. The tires are just as expensive as tubular tires, which doesn't make much sense because tubs are hand sewn and everything. Um, even just like the valves, I think I paid 24 euros for the pair of valves, which is kind of crazy. The liquid is expensive too. So it's not a cheap way to go, but if it's good, then yeah, let's, let's, let's give it a go. So there we have it, the finished product, both of the 339 clincher wheels now have the GP 5000 STRs on them and we're ready to roll and I did actually use about 50 grams of fluid in each of these and I could have used a bit less probably 30 or so so that would have saved a bit more weight brought them a little bit closer to the tubular weight and interestingly the thickness seems perfect for these extra light wheels uh, there's an, they're pretty much exactly the same width the tire and the rim I think if I was to use a 28 mil tire it would bulge a little bit too much although i'm curious to try them i'm quite light so i don't know if it's really necessary for me uh, 64 kilos but uh yeah a lot of people say good things about 28 mil the roads here are pretty smooth so again not sure that they're absolutely unnecessary uh, what i would say is that these do actually look a bit narrow i measured them and they are one mil narrower than the than the tubulars they're both 25s but the tubulars just seem a little bit fatter than these so these kind of kind of feel quite skinny actually when i look down on them even though they're 25s they're not 23s or anything but they look a touch skinnier than the tubs um but yeah the best thing to do now is to get out and do some long rides it's obviously gonna be very difficult to feel am i saving five watts or not in terms of rolling resistance but uh yeah in in theory it that's what it's supposed to do so let's try and see if we can feel it and uh so i can set some prs or something on these 